Wesley Bell securing the Democratic Party's nomination, garnering over 51% of the votes, while Cori Bush received 45.6% of the votes. This was a contentious and expensive race, where this primary actually turned out to be the second most expensive in U.S. history, with over $18 million raised and spent. Bell received most of the outside funding. His campaign was financed almost entirely by the pro-Israel lobby. He has served as St. Louis County prosecuting attorney for six years, and his campaign focused on a range of issues, including strengthening local economies, job training, lowering health care costs, supporting seniors, and tackling climate change. Bush, known for her activism and leadership following the Ferguson protests, has been a vocal advocate for police reform, protester rights and environmental issues, including the EPA cleanup out at Coldwater Creek. This victory was not just a win for Bell, but a rare instance where a challenger ousted an incumbent in a congressional primary. According to political consultants, only about 6% of congressional incumbents lose their primaries. Bush gave an impassioned concession speech, so we're going to play a snippet of that, which will then be followed by Bell's victory speech after learning he secured the Democratic nomination for Missouri's first congressional district. Whether I'm Congresswoman or not, I'm still taking care of my people. And so, and let me say this. Because your side was so weak, you had to spend $19 million. I am absolutely honored and humbled to be the Democratic nominee for Congress in this district. Andrew Jones and Stan Hall are leading the Republican nomination for District 1, but the AP is yet to call this race in that. So District 1 is heavily Democratic, and so Bell is projected to win the November general election. Of course, we'll have to wait and see until November, but that is the latest from the District 1 race and obviously a major upset there for Cori Bush. Reporting live here in downtown St. Louis this morning, Laura Simon, Fox 2 News.